Oh, yeah. It's Boodle Link again, baby, that's right, I'm back. Last time I quested for Zelda, I got a little on track. But now my confidence is at an all-time high, because Navi just anointed me the hero of rhyme. The superhero of time! That's right, the hero of rhyme. I don't need no sort of shield, I'm gonna be just fine. Hey, listen, I think... Shh, I got my beats and jams. I'm taking game and... Hey guys, Vatican again, welcome to another reaction video, and it has been a long time since I've done one of these. Last... I am going to be filming my reaction to Four Swords Misadventures made by Hadao Kuin Dude. I probably said that wrong, but let's just get started. Just so you know, I've already seen episodes 1 through 9 when I was a little kid. Oh, oh, shoot! Dang! Nice! <laughs> I also got a new headset too for the occasion. Here we are, the luxurious Tower of Hera. We hope you enjoy your stay. Our oh boy. breakfast is served from that to chance. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you can check out any time you like. You'll never leave. <laughs> <laughs> How can you two be joking at a time like this when Princess Zelda's life is in danger? Oh, what's there to worry about? You're all experienced travelers, aren't you? Well, except for Violet over there. I'm purple. Okay, yes, we get it. You're purple. I'm just saying. So I could say with 100% certainty that you can get through this. Probably. I don't see what the big deal is. It's just a dungeon. We've been through about 17 of these this month. Right. Well, this is no ordinary dungeon. This was now remodeled to be a dungeon within a dungeon, which makes it twice as challenging. What was that? Oh? What was yeah, that? what was that? I heard something, but I can't put my finger on it. It's official, guys. Boo has finally lost it. Welcome to the Looney Club. Red, it's gonna take several more dungeons and several more cringeworthy moments for you to make me even come close to your level of insanity. Oh, yeah? Anyway, at least we don't <laughs> have a time limit to work with. What was that? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. That's what we thought. <laughs> Are you trying to be supportive or not? Yeah, no, we're with you all the way. Uh, this should be no problem. Just trust yourselves and work as a team and you can get through this. I and the tiger don't stop believing you get the magic. <laughs> well, well, we love we the better fight. head back to the master's lair. Best of luck to the four of you. You will succeed. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, hell yes. Oh. <laughs> Another fine mess you've gotten us into, Red. What are you talking about? Red, it was your fault. We wouldn't have to come here if we still had the mirror. You thought it was a good idea at that time. <laughs> Besides, I wouldn't have had to throw that piece of junk away if old wise-ass grasshopper here didn't play with it like a rag doll. Hey, remember that time we got sent to the Japanese version of our quest? Green. You're never going to let that go, are you? <laughs> it was a Japanese Zelda, dude. I could have shredded my virginity. I could have had everything I've ever wanted. And more! Uh, don't you mean everything we wanted? Wait, what? Yeah, if we were once together, we should have had the same thoughts, right? So, aren't we all the same Link? Just split apart? And if that's the case, we're each just a fourth of the original Link's personality? What? Let's not think too deeply into that subject, all right? All right. We did have to break it. You could have just let me take it to the repair shop, and then we wouldn't be in this whole mess. What the hell ever? All I know is after we get through this dungeon, I'm going to take my hookshot and shove it straight through those two pixelated punks' ales. And at the same time as well. <laughs> is that even possible? There are ways, man. There are ways. 
so many ways. <laughs> <sighs> well, no use standing around here talking about it. Yeah, Mason's got gotten a little better too. So, Blue, about that bow and arrows. Nope. Make that three pixelated pumps. Mm. All right. Now, this dungeon normally requires us to navigate around by lowering and raising floor levels with pin, red, and blue switches. But seeing as it's now a dungeon within a dungeon... Did no one else hear that? Hear what? I'm sticking with the blue went nuts mm. theory. <sighs> you people <laughs> are hopeless. Anyways, this means that we'll constantly unlock parts within the Dark World equivalent. Seeing as we have no mirror, <laughs> there has to be a portal to the Dark World pinned somewhere within the dungeon. It will require a lot of backtracking, and also the use of some stealth to sneak past darkness. Nerd! Congratulations, Blue! <laughs> you memorized a strategy guide. I'll take your sarcastic remarks as a compliment. Besides, even the most complex dungeons are extremely easy. Who the heck redesigned this place? Ironically, it's the same jackass who made the water temple. What?! Wow. Now it really is like old times. You sick bastard! How dare you! Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You can't go mamming out whatever out of this one! <laughs> you want to with this? I'm gonna ram those boomerangs right up yours! Dude, chill. It's not worth it. You're lucky that the smart one saved you this time, you childhood rooting psychopath! As I was saying, we need to get past those dark nuts, so we need to use those barrels. We have to proceed with caution if we don't want to. I'll go get one. Get caught. Purple, get back here! Not good, a poor tradition. I had a feeling you'd do something reckless. And there <laughs> it is. Really? I was thinking the exact same thing, except I more so imagined you doing it. Don't make hmm. me slap you, Blue. Guys, I hate to interrupt hmm. your tea party, but we've got to do something about that dark nut. Red, your hook shot. Say no more. Hook shot away! Uh, uh oh. Gotcha! Hey, Dark Nut, looking for a fight? Try taking in all four of us! Help! Don't hurt me! Huh? That voice! Hmm? That can't be who I think it is, can it? No way! This is obviously some kind of trap I bought you. Let me guess what happens next. Another cock joke? Oh, I'm mm. so amused, sir! Don't you have any manners? Princess hmm? Zelda? You heard the lady. Red, let her go. Ugh, fine. Finally. Wait, I'm so glad to see you. Zelda, how did you get here? And what's with the armor? Who cares? Zelda's safe. Game over. We win. All right, princess. You can get out of that suit of armor now. Come on. Hurry up. Uh, there's a bit of a problem. W what's the matter? You stuck in there? It's a little hard to explain. Oh, I know how to get her out. <gasps> Zelda, look! A mouse is on your foot! Where? Where? Get it away! <laughs> Zelda's a... ghost? <laughs> oh no. Well, this is an unexpected twist. I guess it's still game over. <laughs> but for us. Hang on. Don't jump to conclusions just yet. <laughs> Zelda, what happened to you? Link, I need your help more than ever. I'm having an out-of-body experience. I'm lost. I don't know where I am or why I'm here. Why couldn't you prevent this from happening? Where were you all this time? Do something, you hero, aren't you? Legends of the Spirit sort of Chat. here. We understand it's a difficult time for you to grasp the current predicament. But first off, we need to know what exactly happened. What did Vadi do to you and for what purpose did he have to kill you all? Yeah, I mean, he kidnapped you. So why would he off you after keeping you captive? Um... You sick little monsters! I'm gonna kill you! Dark Lake! Get the chocolate! It's our only chance for survival! We ran out! Damn it! I... Uh, uh... I don't want to talk about it. What do you mean? She must be having some kind of repressed psychological... <laughs> but she's a ghost! It doesn't chocolate. make any sense. For all we know, she's probably hiding something embarrassing from us. You mind your own business. Uh... Yeah, I mean, hmm. they were planning something nasty, and then this happened. I'm so confused right now. Maybe Valley wants to keep Zelda's body for himself. Ah! Uh, I, I would. What? What? I'm, everybody's thinking it. 
What would that sick fiend want to do with my body? Uh, well, you're kind of hot, so... What I think Red is trying to say is that Vadi might have plans for your soulless body. Maybe he plans on reviving someone from the past. You mean like... Ganon? Nah, too cliche. So, is this what happened to you? You know, I think this is all starting to make sense now. <laughs> I guess it was either that or become his bride, but I'm too young to get married. He what? Now's not the time for that. You have to help me! But, we're in the middle of a long cycle since <laughs> can make the geezer, remember? Are you going to listen to an old hermit or me? Good point. Hey, I know! Why don't we just use the Akrina to go back in time and try to prevent all this? Are you nuts? If we change something in the past, it will cause more catastrophic changes in the future. We could risk turning Hyrule into low rule or something. Really? Low rule? Hmm. What's next? Right rule? Left rule? Slightly diagonal rule? Red, shut up. We need to talk this over with the old man fast. Zelda, come with us. But what can I do? I have the suspicion that the old man knows something that we don't. And he's just using us as entertainment, while he thinks of other excuses to get us to do with random crap. It would make sense. I mean, what kind of noble old man wants to go gaga over naked women? You did what now? Uh, it, it wasn't exactly our choice. Besides, Red looked at them most of the time. Even if I wanted to see them, they were stuck to him like glue. Well, that makes slightly more sense. I guess. <laughs> Come on, Zelda, what's it going? Maybe if we intimidate him with your armor, he'll get scared enough to reveal the truth to us. <sighs> well, I suppose it's worth a shot. This is pretty funny. Four Swords Misadventures. Four Swords Misadventures. Oh, it's like intermission, I see. Hey, you did not go through that temple 20 times. We told you that leaving before the trial was over is strictly forbidden. The master will not be happy to hear about this at all. You listen to me, little flunky. I've been kidnapped three times, kept in an empty room for several days, dragged out to be interrogated, had to escape from a dungeon in an alternate dimension and had my soul separated from my body. If you don't get out of my face in the next 15 seconds, I'll take Red's advice and make you both the new pedestals of time. Let's not get so rash here. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We could just change it up so you'd only have to go 19 times? 13 times. 10! 9. 5? 3? Note to self, never piss off the heavily armored princess. <laughs> Good advice, Blue. Good advice. Zelda, the Red! Where? <laughs> two for two, I got you. Red, I swear, if you do that one more time, I'm going to possess you and bludgeon whatever's left of your brains out. I think he already beat you to that. <laughs> All right. Anyway, wait here, guys. <laughs> I need to look at the map to find our way back to the old man's place again. Hi. Uh, oh, uh, hi? So, uh, what's it like being a ghost? Is this how you flirt with all the girls? Oh, please, you're the only girl I'd ever flirt with. I don't know if I should be creeped out or flattered. <laughs> Why not both? Because girls are far more complicated. I'm standing right here! Technically, you're floating. Oh, shush. Wait, so the thing that says armors and bodies, are you able to pick things up with your hands? Well, I'd imagine that as a ghost, I can't really touch anything. Can other people touch you? <laughs> hey, don't do that! Wait, what the? <laughs> uh, cut it out! Wait, what? I think this is kind of like a theory I read about. The phantom hand theory. <laughs> Even though your body is separated, you can still feel anything coming into contact with whatever isn't there. So when red and purple put their hands through you, even though they aren't actually touching you, you still mentally feel it. God, you are a nerd! <laughs> and I'm still more than whatever you'll amount to. Not cool, dude. Not hey, cool. I'm a nerd too, so <laughs> I can relate to blue. Hand through her. It's just being it's a like blue. She can actually feel it? Pretty much. She would still conceive pain if a sword went through her. But she'd get over it pretty quickly because there wouldn't be any wounds or blood. Think of it kind of like a spur of the moment. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my gosh, she actually can't take over people's bodies? Hey Zelda, you, you don't have to go do this. No more joking. Oh boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
He learned his lesson. I've never had such a fun out of body experience like that before. <laughs> Just you wait. Do I? When my head starts banging like a gong, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something unspeakable and so wrong, I don't even know what I'm gonna do yet. That's how bad it's gonna be. Yes, princess? I know I'm not the most grateful all the time, but thank you for everything you've done. I promise I'll make it up to you when this is all over. <laughs> you don't have to make up anything to me. I'm the hero. I live to serve. <laughs> Link. Oh, Zelda. Whoa! <laughs> Cock blocked! Oh, God, why? <laughs> 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 You shouldn't have done that. Sorry, that was me. Mm. I figured we could put Kojiro to good use again. <laughs> oh, Jorvis, this is splendid, simply divine. <laughs> Free Kinstone. Mm. I wonder how those kids are doing with that ridiculous task I set for them. I'm a genius. The Tower of Hera 20 times? Most travelers would die on the third time. <laughs> At least this way, I won't have to get involved with any of their personal affairs that I show so little regard for. What ridiculous <laughs> task should I have them do after this, if they manage to survive? Hmm. I'll make up some rhythmic <laughs> nonsense, like bring me a giant deku leaf for my herbal tea. <laughs> oh my goddess, it's going to be Funny if they actually did it. <laughs> hey, you're going to pay for that door. <laughs> I mean, Ramatita, you're Tangera. Cut the crap, you geezer. You know something we don't know, and we want to know what it is. You don't know anything of my people's language. You just had your flunkies respond to what you wanted when you spoke. The act is over, you disgraceful fiend. <laughs> ah, whatever. I was getting sick of it anyway. <laughs> Tell us what we want to know, or else. Oh, yeah? Bagu? Error? Would you two mistakes get in here? Yeah, about them. Our mirror monster scared them off on the way here. They what? Oh, for goddess's sake. Fine, <laughs> then. I suppose I'll have to deal with you myself. Kojiro, look! It's the KFC management! <laughs> <gasps> oh. I remember I this. Surrender. I'll tell you anything you wish, but just don't hurt me! Finally! Now, how do we get to the toilet well? Um, well, that is... I wouldn't keep him waiting. Kojiro hasn't been there. <laughs> Okay, um, you need to get the giant deco leaf first. Oh, I forgot to mention that as a ghost, I can tell that you're lying to me. What, what? And right now, I can tell that you need to go on a date with that cuckoo over there. And trust me, he hurts a lot more than you think he does. You're bluffing! <laughs> Are we? Are we really? Okay, 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 I'll talk. Look, I don't know exactly how to get into the Twilight Realm, but I do know where you can find the pieces that will get you inside. You have to find a magic mirror, which will... Ugh, for the last time, the magic mirror was broken. Ah, but Sahasrala never said THE magic mirror. He said A magic mirror. There's more than one way to skin a cat, or in this. <laughs> Using a mirror to get into the Twilight Realm. This is one of four shards of a relic known as the Mirror of Twilight. 
<laughs> this is the only other way I can think of that will allow you to huh. access the Twilight Realm and get to Vati. Oh. oh god, not another mirror. Zelda, is he telling the truth? I remember hearing about this mirror when I was a child. I didn't think it existed, though. I don't believe he's lying this time. Guys, what do you think? Heck no! Remember how much trouble the last mirror caused us? And this one is already broken. Red, the only reason it was a problem was because we were using a broken magic mirror. This time we're trying to put it together. As long as a certain someone doesn't break it again, we shouldn't have any problems. I second what Blue said. Same. <laughs> I really don't think this is a good idea. You got a better idea? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> then this is our last chance. Ugh. Fine. But I swear to Din, if you get us trapped in the French version of our quest, I promise you that you won't be coming out of it. Yeah, yeah, alright. Where can we find these other mirror shards? <laughs> well, that is to say I'm not sure. But I know someone that does. There's a tool shopkeeper in Kakariko. He might know about the other pieces. Hmm. <laughs> Why does this place sound so familiar? All right, let's go then. Huh. Purple, get the cuckoos out of here. Maybe because uh, I've been there before? Okay. Uh. Hey, I got my eye on you. Zelda <laughs> <laughs> Tribe. Oh, no, no, no. Aww. That was, um... That was a really nice homage to um, Mr. Iwata. That's really cool. Oh, nice. <laughs> and they're using scenes from multiple games here. That is really, really cool. How you can do it. Dang. That was really, really... Oh, shoot. I forgot I had that on loop. So, what did I think of episode 10? It was really, really good. There were parts that almost made me die of laughter like the part he was like banging his head against the wall that was funny <laughs> I liked it though and it seems that there are a lot of great youtubers coming back like the creator of misadventures John CJG with um what's it called Arby and the Chief which is my favorite show of all time and there's also the dude that's making Super Mario Bros Z which is coming back and it's really great to know that they're coming back well, that's all I gotta say for now. As always, I will see you guys in whatever it is I do next. Bye-bye. Jeez, this thing will go to scene two. Jay, I'm taking in and down now. No thanks to you, old man. What? Link, they got you here. The countryside is terrified and shocked. We're overrun with darkness, behats, levers, gels, and octorons. You're our hero of the ages with a sword and a helping hand. We really need your skills. Oh, you need my skills? Oh damn!